I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I think it helps people not only when actually like memorizing the speech, like really thinking about the words, feeling the emotions like in your soul. We are at the headquarters of One Gas here in Tulsa. Today we're actually celebrating our 26th annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. oratorical program. We actually had a contest in which we invited high school students across the city of Tulsa to participate and reenact essentially Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech. Miss Pretty Gopi was the winner of the contest and so she was able to perform and enact that speech. Go back to Mississippi, go back to Alabama, go back to South Carolina, go back to Georgia, go back to Louisiana, go back to the slums and ghettos of all northern cities, knowing that somehow this situation can and will be changed. I'm so thankful they're still doing this. That's really incredible that they're able to keep his, his words alive and able to bring this many people to actually listen and be a part of the event because I think it's important to remember those that made a difference before us. I actually would never have entered the competition if it wasn't for me being in speech and debate because Miss Spatz, my teacher, introduced it or else I, w I wouldn't have known. We had our president and CEO, Sid McAnally, present. Please accept this from us with our thanks and our good wishes and know that we can't wait to see what you choose to do with these incredible talents that you have. So thanks. Thank you. I mean, I, I didn't know that they were going to do that, but <laughs> I knew that there was like a prize money, but I didn't know they were going like, to bring in the check and everything, so that was pretty exciting. We also had a choir from Booker T. Washington present. I don't know if Martin Luther King Jr. like really thought that he would impact so many people so many years later, but, but he did, and I think it's important to, for all of us to know that we can change what people think through our words. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. And this will be the day. This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning. One of Dr. King's quotes and one of my favorite which is faith is taking the first step even though you don't see the staircase and sometimes I just encourage students to take that first step so they might be a little bit afraid but consider just to come and join with us and participate next year. If you are a little bit nervous how to tackle this just like section it off take it day by day and don't get too overwhelmed and you got this. We will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children Black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Yeah.